This neighborhood was called the Forgotten Triangle. I mean, an area where people would come and dump their waste, bring their stolen cars, drop their dead bodies. It was forgotten about. One of the local residents was quoted as saying that the uh, population of the neighborhood went up after the sun went down because that's when all the illegal activity would take place. Drug deals, everything. But when we came on site, you know, we said let's turn this area into a thriving new community. This area is now known as the Urban Agriculture Innovation Zone. So what, what pride does that give the neighborhood residents that were once living in a, in a neglected area off the beaten path now, this becomes a beacon of hope. Look at all the people here. Look at the beautiful residents. We got Will Allen, the guru of urban agriculture, that came to join us on this birthday celebration. This is huge for us. This is huge for us because this shows that we can change. We can take our communities back and transform them into beacons of hope and into something positive that gives life and not takes life. So we're done. We're good. We're eternally energized about what we're doing. Silently kept one of the most renowned artists in Cleveland. Right. He's been putting it down at Snicker Fritz Gallery. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we yeah. go way back. Yeah, that's the original back. set. That's the original <laughs> set. <laughs> types of plants you can grow, and in this case they're growing tomatoes, which are heavy feeders. And the tomatoes, uh, what's happening is that as the fish give off their waste, it's going through a nitrification process, where the nitrites change the nitrates, and the plants take those up as food to grow the plants therefore removing what would, be, what would be toxic to the fish. The recirculating system, the same water is recirculating over and over again. Otherwise, if that process didn't take place, the water would become toxic for the tilapia that's being grown. We're going to this next phase of hiring water. Wow. Because we've had a big demand to help people around the country. So I, when I take a crew out, build an infrastructure like this or something on the road. Like I'm working on a project in Macon, New Jersey, and I've got another project in New Jersey, I've got another project in Haiti, and you know, I've got projects wow. around. 